I'm Lily and you're watching Rising Earth News. Today I'm joined by Kellen who's a young man who is a graduate from a band of brothers. So Kellen, thank you so much for joining us today and I just want to have a chat with you really about your experiences with a band of brothers and how, how it's been for you. So last week we were joined by Nick who was a mentor at a band of brothers and he told us a little bit about what a band of brothers is doing. Um, but today it would be really great to hear firsthand, you know, the, the experiences that you've had as a young man that's gone through this programme. So just to start off with, um, do you want to talk us through like how you came across a band of brothers and maybe what you're experiencing that led up to you joining this community? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I first met a couple of men from a band of brothers uh, three, just over three years ago now um, when I was living in the Eastbourne foyer. I know it sounds cliche, but it really did change my life. I mean, four years ago, I I had my last suicide attempt and I've had quite a few of them growing up through care, um, being addicted to drugs and alcohol. Um, and yeah, it was a really tough time for me. And then I went on this course for a weekend and I've just not stopped coming ever since. I've been to almost every Thursday, I've staffed weekends. Um, and now I'm... I've just been given my first mentee, so I'm becoming a mentor um, to other men in the community so that I can kind of give back in a in a way. The way I always look at it is that I was on a journey and there was different paths that I could have taken and those different paths that I could have taken had different outcomes and the path I chose to take had the outcome that's, that I'm in now. So I'm part of Band of Brothers. I've got many male role models around me. Um, I can go anywhere in the UK that's got a circle and just be able to be myself, talk about my issues and be supported. Um, and yeah, I can, I can get in touch with other young men who are going through what I had to go through um, and kind of show them that there is another way that they don't have to follow the route that they think they need to follow. That's, it is amazing. Could you tell us about, so I know that it's a rite of passage weekend that you first go through when you, when you join a band of brothers. And I know that for many men, that is, that is the weekend you were talking about that you said cliched, but it changed your life. And I know that, um, Right, of passage weekends have to remain quite secretive and we're not allowed to go into details about what exactly happens on them, but could you go into a bit of detail about maybe your experiences and maybe how that shifted your, your mindset? So I got the chance to actually be with myself. I got the chance to actually um, look at my trauma and actually deal with it in a healthy and supportive way. I always thought that anger was a horrible thing I, I I always thought I wasn't allowed to be angry and my my experience of anger was very rocky because I I could be quite explosive and I'd I'd just keep thing keep pushing things down and down and down until I eventually explode mm -hmm. and I've hurt a lot of people and broken a lot of things through doing that so I, it was it was very scary for me to think that well, for men to be telling me, yeah, you can get angry, it's okay. Um, and I was like, well, you don't know what I can do sort of thing. And it was like, just being at, just knowing that I wasn't as dangerous as I thought I was. And that I could, that I could be held, that I could be supported um, in a good way and not have to, not have to, delve back into those bad habits that I had. So would you say that Abandoned Brothers then has helped you to kind of change these habits, I, I assume? Um, and could you tell us about maybe your life now? Like how, how has the drinking kind of stopped or become more healthy and relationship to drugs? And I know you said that with other men now, you, you feel held in all these circles of young men, which is really amazing. Um, and how about other relationships in your life? Do you think that it's had a positive benefit on those as well? Definitely. I mean, my relationship with women as well, like, has changed drastically since I joined. 
And I mean, I used to be quite a manipulative man, boy, and just use women and to my advantage sort of thing, because I didn't really care about myself. So I didn't really care about anyone else. So I was just trying to get what I wanted really. And it's given me a place where I can be, I can look at those behaviors and not be judged by them. Um, and now I've got a fiance who I've been with for two years now. Um, Congratulations. I've got a daughter who was with my last girlfriend, but um, I mean, that was a bit rocky because it was more towards the beginning. But if it wasn't for coming to Band of Brothers, I wouldn't be seeing her. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have any part of her life or she may not even exist. I don't know. But um, yeah, my, my alcohol intake has drastically gone down. I don't drink much anymore. I don't drink to get drunk. I just have a, the occasional drink every now and then. Um, I haven't touched illegal substances for well over two years. And um, yeah, it's just really helped me in a way to be able to be, um, be accountable so I can hold myself to account for all the decisions that I make, whether they be good or whether they be not so good I can hold myself to account and not be judged and um, that's really powerful for me because I've always been judged my whole life and I it, it, it feels horrible to be judged because it's like you don't know what I've been through you you've not been in my position before to be able to judge me for that so I just I love being able to hold myself accountable for these things and it be it come from me and not from someone else i also wanted to ask you a bit about um so i know that now you said that you're you've got your first mentory your first mentee is that right mentee um so clearly you've you've kept on with a band of brothers and you've been motivated to even become a mentor yourself so why is it that that is something that's so important to you changed my life it's, it's helped me to get the things that i it's helped me to see a future it's helped me to see things that i can actually achieve and i want to be able to give that to someone else i want i want someone else to feel that and know what it's like to not be just depressed all the time and upset and lonely and hating themselves um i've been there and it fucking sucks by my language but it <laughs> it's not a nice place to be and i mean it never goes away but i i i like the fact that i can hopefully be that person for someone else to kind of give them some sort of hope yeah and maybe yeah. maybe i can save someone else's life oh that's so lovely well i don't want to carry on talking for hours because i think that we probably could but um we'll end the interview there so thank you so much for talking to us about your experiences kellen and um, it's been really really great to hear from you and i'm so glad that a band of brothers has had such a positive influence on your life and that now you're gonna go and hopefully do that for other people as well it's really great Thank you for your time and thank you for having me. Um, I, I love pushing our, not pushing, but I like, I love speaking about what we do and what they, what Band of Brothers have done for me. So and if we can get more and more people involved, then I'm all up for that. No, yeah, absolutely. In fact, if there's any young men watching, uh, what would you say to them about, about a Band of Brothers or how to get involved? Just go for it. Um, take take that leap of faith. Um, the best advice, not advice, but the best thing that I can say is that you can either keep going the way that you are, and you'll you'll end up however you'll end up, or you can you can take this risk and you can 
take this opportunity and see for yourself that there is something different, that there's a possibility that things can get better. And yeah, it's it's up to you. it's up to you really. It's nobody can do this for you. Yeah. But we can be there with you. Thank you for watching Rising Earth News. Don't forget to subscribe and follow our socials for your daily dose of positive eco news. Stay safe, stay green and be a part of the Age of Restoration.